Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error that says you require permission from the system to make changes to this folder. And this should be hopefully a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So the one thing this tutorial will now work on is if you have just a generic drive, like if your Windows installation is on the C drive, I would not recommend doing this for that because it will not work. But if you have a subfolder, like let's just say for example I have this folder on my desktop here, this tutorial will apply for just about everything and subfolders within the C drive. Just don't go over to like this PC and then attempt to right click and then do what we're going to be doing in this tutorial for it. But if you have a subfolder within the C drive, you're more than welcome to perform the actions I'm going to be showing in this video. And then it should work. So for example, I have this folder on my desktop here and we're having problems making changes to it. So all you have to do to hopefully resolve this issue in most cases would be to right click on it, left click on properties, now you want to left click on the security tab, you want to left click on system up here, and then where it says to change permissions, click edit, left click on edit. Now you want to left click on this button that says add, now you want to enter object names to select, so this point you left click on advanced, and now left click on find now. Now you want to go down to get to everyone right here and left click on OK. Then at this point you can click on OK again. And now that we have selected over the group for everyone, you want to left click inside the checkbox that says full control right here. And that will select all of them except for the special permissions which you don't need to worry about because these options are grayed out. And then you want to just left click on apply and OK. And then OK again to save the change. And that should be able to resolve most permission errors you're experiencing on your computer. So this should hopefully have been a very straightforward tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.